and Australian gin holding its own against the world's best at Canberra's first international gin festival. Yulma, good evening and welcome to ABC News. I'm James Glendale. Back home now and Australia's first ever international gin festival kicked off in Canberra today. It featured hundreds of bottles from around the globe and showcased a growing local industry here. Cocktail gin, lemon juice and honey. Felix Clark's gin was born from a bet at his kitchen table, but it's now being tasted alongside some of the best gins in the world. I, I spent most of my uh, summer afternoons in, in my underwear in the laundry dist distilling gin and sliding sort of different iterations across the table to my wife and uh, she kept sliding them back telling me they weren't good enough. After eight years of testing, the backyard brewers capitalising on a surge in gin's popularity. There's more gins than there ever has been in the, in the history of the world. Any good bar in Canberra or any city, and there might be 50 gins on the back bar. Australia's first international gin festivals showcasing spirits from as far as England, Europe, South Africa and Singapore, as well as local drops. Gin's exciting. It's gone from 120 distilleries back in 2017. There's now over 400 across Australia. Pink gins, dry gins into... I've recently just made a Shiraz gin, so using local grapes. Even though it represents less than 7% of gin consumed worldwide, the Australian drop punches above its weight on the global stage. About 95 percent representation in all of these global awards are, are, are Australian gin so we we're really at the top echelon of, of flavor of product of ingenuity of process more of it could head offshore under free trade agreements with the UK and Europe it comes down to distribution finding those international distributors is quite hard for now the festival's bringing together a whole spectrum of gin lovers I did it until about two years ago and um, my girlfriend said you need to try a good gin so I did, and I've been hooked ever since. I have about 150 bottles at home. I like it dry. Yeah, I'm tonic, the sweet yeah. girl. Yeah. Um, straight if it's a slow gin, uh, mixed with tonic if it's not. Nearly 2,000 people have given their taste buds a workout at this weekend's showcase, and if these crowds are anything to go by, they'll be even more taking a sip next year. No driving today. <laughs> A safe bet on a blooming industry. Jade Toomey, ABC News, Canberra.